girls behind me were laughing, cracking up. They thought it was the funniest thing. They were like, oh my god, you're trying so hard. Before Logan Paul would dominate the internet with a combined 3.6 million subscribers on his two YouTube channels, 8.6 million on Instagram, 1.3 million followers on Twitter at the time of this recording. Logan Paul is one of the top digital creators of the world. I mean, let's just talk about your stats for like a second. Okay. Before Logan would team up with brands like Dunkin Donuts, Hanes, PepsiCo, and HBO, also did the splits around the world for the Olympics and made it on the cover of Ad Week. My name is Logan Paul. In honor of the 2016 Olympics, I'm gonna split the world. Before Logan Paul crossed over to mainstream media, appearing on Law & Order, Weird Loners, Stitchers, and the YouTube Red series The Thinning, oh, he also wrote and produced and started a movie known as Airplane Mode. I'm moving outside of Vine now, which is great. That was my overall goal when I started, and um, I mean, I'm so glad it's finally happening and YouTube's like, you know, facilitating that. Before Logan Paul would collaborate with Amanda Cerny, Brittany Furlod, Roman Atwood, Kevin Hart, The Rock, and his little brother Jake. It was actually a little competition between the brothers which first got Logan dedicated to posting Vine videos because Jake initially had a few hundred more followers. Logan had first dabbled with film production while in junior high. There he was also a standout athlete in both wrestling and football. When it came time to go to university, his motto became academics over uh, athletics. But that doesn't mean he still couldn't have some fun. It was when Vine was launched in January of 2013 and its massive popularity allowed Logan to find an outlet to entertain the world, producing high quality comedic content jam packing as much creative as he could into six second videos. Wow, that explanation was longer than six. What's up guys, I'm just chilling with my boy Jerome. My name's not Jerome, you stupid white motherfucker. When he wasn't in class or studying to be an engineer, he would produce videos all over Ohio University campus. He was gaining a massive following online, but some of his peers weren't too impressed. There were times dudes would ambush his shoots, screaming, fuck you, Logan Paul, and I hate your vines. Logan shrugged it off while his online career snowballed quickly. He's since dropped out of school, and his plan now is to become the biggest entertainer in the world. And to be honest, I think it's gonna happen. I mean, he's the new Ashton Kutcher. Oh, look at Mr. Hassan I'm taking his shirt off. <laughs> What's going on guys? My name is Michael McCredden, documenting the life and career of Logan Paul, here for you on Before They Are Famous. You guys have long requested this video, so we're finally getting her done. We've covered other Vine stars like Thomas Sanders and the death of Vine here on this channel. We're looking for suggestions on who to do next. I'm thinking Amanda Cerny. We want to hear from you in the comments down below. Logan Alexander Paul was born on April 1st, 1995 in Westlake, Ohio, population 32,000 as of 2010. Hey, do you got something for our Wall of Fame? I do. I have a pen here. Woo! <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> Ohio <laughs> University, check it out. Logan was born to Pamela Ann Paul and Gregory Allen Paul, and he's two years older than Jake. There's also a family friend who goes by the name Roman Paul, and many a website have claimed that this is Logan's youngest brother. But the kid is just a family friend. I have a guest today. My guest is Roman. Roman, how you doing? I'm doing good. My name is Roman Paul, actually. Look at us here before they're famous. Fixing up errors on the internet. He grew up in a quirky family who were social performers. For example, they would all wear their paper crowns when on a trip to Burger King. It's not only his little bro who's getting in on the fun these days, his mom and dad have also made cameos in his work. First, let me hop out the muff, Porsche, I don't want it, don't see like a horse. Growing up outside Cleveland, Logan was fascinated with photography, saving his allowance and lawn mowing money for his first digital camera. Initially, he shot mostly flower photos. How boring. Then when he turned 10, Logan got his hands on a video camera and him and his friends began filming themselves playing sports and they would upload the content to YouTube in its formative years. Alright, what we have here today... His boys! His boys! Logan was a standout athlete all through high school as a football player and a wrestler. As a senior, he was a starting running back, linebacker at Westlake High School and his team reached the playoffs for the first time since 1989. He was a playing dealer all-star linebacker, making 92 tackles, 62 solo, in addition to running over 1,400 yards and scoring 18 touchdowns. What a stud. If it weren't enough, he also placed fifth at the state wrestling tournament. Total hero. I'll vote in the semifinals. 
and uh, the guy wrestling the championship knew it was bad, and I'm, I'm guessing he pushed on it, which, you know, a smart wrestling move, but it, it made it a lot worse. He decided to retire from athletics once he got to Ohio University on an academic scholarship, but he'd soon find a way to bring wrestling back into his life. Let's go! Yeah, as soon as the video app Vine was launched in January of 2013, the Paul boys were there making a competition out of who could gain more followers for their six second clips. And we were making a Vine and I suggested to my brother, I'm like, yo Jake, why don't you do this? Why don't you try this? And he turns to me, he's like, oh yeah, Logan, who has more followers? Logan entered a Virgin Mobile sponsored contest with the hashtag Happy Accidents, and all of a sudden his Vine account, well, it was growing exponentially overnight. By July of 2013, he had approximately 900 followers. Four months later, he had hit 1.5 million. One of his most important breakthroughs came when he got a revine from Austin Miles Getter, who was already, you know, a big star on the app. Some of his biggest hits and funniest videos include him trying to break dance on ice and pretending to swim down the supermarket checkout aisle in a speedo and goggles. He also had an ongoing series in which he tapes himself getting into strangers' cars and watching the driver's reaction. But this would be a series he would discontinue based on some guidance from his folks. Hey, sorry I'm late. Whoa, you're not my mom. Uh, I can be your mommy. Although I don't think anyone's gonna be going after Logan Paul and like touching him inappropriately. Oh, they were worried what he might. No, he's a good kid. Good looking, good kid. The butterfly though, is a habit. He like me. Hey. What? Logan's popularity online was skyrocketing, but as I mentioned in the intro, not everyone at school was supporting him. Some of the bros on campus would do and say what they could to try and bring Logan down. He was confident enough to laugh it off and knew he was working towards something big. So I started doing that, and uh, next thing you know, in about like a week and a half, uh, I got revined by one of the bigger Viners. Around this time, Vine was the biggest craze online with 40 million registered users for the app, and Logan was one of its biggest rising stars. By late 2013, video game publisher Ubisoft offered him $1,000 to create a Vine for its Just Dance franchise. Now the kid had started making some money, and more branded deals would soon follow. He began working for companies like Pepsi, HBO, Hanes, Ritz Crackers, and Dunkin' Donuts. For one day's work, Logan Paul was paid almost $200,000. He got his first indication of his real world fame when a group of junior high school girls were touring his university and they got all giddy when they saw him working out in the gym. By the end of September, he had reached 1 million followers. In November, he would post his Vine compilations to YouTube which would clock in millions of views. Juggling all this while studying to become an industrial and systems engineer eventually became too much for Logan. And he had to make the decision if he was going to do it all for the vine. I know, and I'm, I'm trying not to get shot, so that's that's uh, goal number one. <laughs> oh, hopefully, hopefully that does not happen. <laughs> Continuing with school started to make less and less sense, so Logan made the trip to Los Angeles and moved into an apartment complex located at the intersection of Hollywood and Vine. How fitting. There he would live with other online stars like King Batch. He got signed with Hollywood's most elite agency, CAA. He began taking acting classes and would join comedy troops like the Groundlings and the Upright Citizens Brigade. The kid has a ton of projects coming out and has plans to be the next Will Smith but the white version. But who's he kidding, you know what I mean? He's totally the next Ashton Kutcher, am I right? Has any of you ever had a dream where you were with the opposite of a girl? As for the rest of the story, well you know the story because this is before they're famous. My name is Mike McCredden, we make all sorts of celebrity bios here for you on this channel. We've done a bunch of YouTubers in the past. Be sure to browse around, hit subscribe, and as always, let me know in the comments down below who you want us to document next.